YouTube, hello. We are trying out a game today that came out um, this earlier this month called Knock on the Coffin Lid. It's a card-based deck-building roguelite, which I like roguelites, um, and it's sort of like a dark fantasy aesthetic, which is my aesthetic in a way. So we're going to check that out, see how we like it. Um, should be fun. YouTube, remember to do those things YouTube likes me to do. Remember, you can like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember that you can come hang out with us on Discord. The link should be down in the description. That being said, I want to see you guys next. We'll be playing Knock on the Coffin Lid. Oh. All right. Bye. YouTube, we're back. This is Knock on the Coffin Lid. Um, it's a card-based roguelite, and I wanted to give it a try. So we're going to check it out. New game. This game does not use a controller, so I have to be very brave and use my mouse. Okay, turn on hints. This is a tutorial that'll introduce you to the game. You can go through it without hints or skip. Uh, hmm. You know what? Just because I'm dumb. Can I turn them off? I'll do it. I'll turn on hints. Okay, this is your path. There are four events on it. This is a regular battle. This is a camp, a vendor, and an elite battle. You are here. Left click on the regular battle icon to start. Okay. I was running for my life in Arceus, but there's something also here. Okay, so this is, this is the game. I should probably be reading this. Okay. This is your hero, a brother of fire. Here's his health. If it runs out, you will lose. Here's your ally. If they die, you will lose them forever. Okay. Um, these are your enemies, demon worshippers. Note the effects apply to enemies. You can hover over the, cur the cursor over an effect to read its description. Start of its turn, restores one hit point. Okay. Studying enemy effects is the first thing you wish to do in battle if you don't want unpleasant surprises okay these are your combat cards each card has an energy cost and units of energy this is your energy it replenishes at the start of each turn there are different card types these are attack cards these are they differ in that they deal damage to the enemy play all attack cards in your hand to do this drag a card from your hand to the enemy okay so like what does this guy do? Right. Oh, I can't see it now. Huh. 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 If you've run out of energy, click on end turn. Pass to the enemy. Okay. Classic mode deaths. That's why I haven't beaten Fire Emblem. Oh. Yeah. I played Fire Emblem when I was like a kid, and that upset me. That the people would just die. I'm like, I can't get them back. Okay, pay attention to the enemy's intention. He's about to attack you. These numbers indicate the damage he's going to deal. Whoa, that's a lot. All right. Hover cursor over the enemy to see the target we attack. The enemy will attack you here. You need to defend this. These are skill cards. Unlike attacks, they don't deal damage. Skills in your hand provide a block. Use them. Okay, cool. Okay, alright. The enemy added a status card to your deck. Status is a harmful card, so clutter your hand. Have a negative effect at the end of the battle. All status cards are moved. Interesting. Okay. You get really cocky in the training tower until the light beams fall. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds familiar. Uh, your cards come to your hand from the deck. Look through your deck. You can click on it. No one is going to attack you. Play a talent card. Okay. 
upon taking health damage, you gain one strength. Okay. Alright, these are the cards we played. Okay, that's discard. Cool. I'm learning! This, like, uh, medieval Yu-Gi-Oh is weird. Bad luck. The enemy added a curse to your deck. Yep. Alright. Play this card. Cards like this don't get discarded when playing, they get burned. Okay. Burn cards not get shuffled back into the deck. Shadow Realm is real and the plague is realer. Yeah. Item bonuses. Okay. HP is less than 80, gain two strength. Use the armor elixir. Okay. Beat the enemies to continue the training. Okay. Please do damage. Okay. This guy's like negating all of my shit. Oh, this one sucks. All right, he's going to attack me. So I should play guard. And I'll just keep... And that burns a random card, right? It burned. Miss. Oh, that's good. Alright. We have to stop these demon worshippers, chat. This music's pretty good. Okay. So he's gonna attack the other guy. Sorry about that. Blech. Uh, but what if the demon they worship is cute? That's a good question. Okay. As a reward, you receive one card of your own choice from the three offered. Choose a card you like and click on take. If none of the cards suit you, click on skip. I'll take that one. Cool. Health potion. Open your inventory to change your weapon. Hover over the sword, hold left. Okay. Yay, it changes on the character model. Okay, we do get hurt in between fights though. So no auto healing. That's our deck. Okay, the day went well. We burned two villages to the ground. These people are not worthy of pity. They let contagious filth enter their homes. Demons will devour their souls and enslave their bodies. They can't be saved. We came to the walls of the castle. It's the citadel of nightmares. At night, I was haunted by anxious thoughts. The real battle is close, but the reinforcements are still not here. They went by way of the rotten bog. What could have gone wrong? The camp, you can rest, restore health, or train to upgrade a card. Click on train. Okay. 
choose the card you want to upgrade by clicking by left clicking on it well the good guys burn down the villages yep click on the shop despite the war trade doesn't stop all right so i have 600 gold here's your gold left are your items vendor items to sell an item sell to the vendor's field okay cool so like take a closer look at what's available for sale notice the icon it indicates if an item belongs to a set so i'm equipping the hero with two or more oh cool bonuses so this is an elven amulet some items add cursed cards to your deck okay you have a cursed to click get rid of it click on remove card okay oh yeah i have a curse in my deck cool all right so i probably want this right because that's part of a set so i'll get bonuses I feel like the trap is to buy this, but I have the set going here. Cucumber elixir. Draw two cards. I feel like this. I feel like this is good. Let's go. All right, tutorial's over. When you're ready, click on it for the event. All right. Oh, cool. So all the items are if you get a set. So we have two of them. At the end of the turn, if an enemy has a tendency to attack, you gain an evasion. That's cool. This is neat. I like this so far. We'll see how I feel after this fight. But on the second day, we met with those for whom we came. Excuse me. The demons. It's easy and pleasant to kill the servants. They are not our equals. We prepared all our lives for a battle with their masters. However, there are too many demons. <laughs> Chat, really, that's the problem. There's always just too many demons. There's too many demons and not enough uh, not enough people to take care of it. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, they pressed on without a break. We fought without a rest. I took down a few demons, but their place was taken by creatures larger and stronger. When first cries for help were heard, I felt we would not win the fight. Oh, so divert attention to myself or run to the rescue. I mean, let's go rescue. We decided to stick together until the end and not retreat a single step. Yeah, that feels like the right move. Yeah, because... Ooh! Oh! Look at these guys! They're fun! Um, deals damage and gain, so they get stronger. So what if I, like, load myself up? Oh, I can't hit him. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Wow, they have a lot going for them. Um... I can't hit I can't hit them. Uh oh. I have one left. I'll do that so I stay alive. <laughs> My god, the evasion thing is uh kind of busted. I don't have any holy magic. I don't. I do have cucumber elixir. No holy magic, but there is cucumber. Elixir. Alright, effective guard. What is this? So this is what they're gonna do. They have 15 armor. And this one has evasion. So I should attack this one, I guess? Ha. Ah. Aha. Here we go.
I, I'm getting it now. Ow. Oh, fuck. Oh! My friend! 47? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. I'm not going to be able to hit this. Thank God for all of my evasion. Fuck. Yeah. Chad, I got a suspicion that maybe we're not gonna win. I don't think we're supposed to win this fight. I think I think we're about to get Mega Man. Forgive us, Mortis. We let you down. No, no. It's fine. The reinforcement didn't come. We can't manage without them. I know. You've done everything you could, and that's enough. Calm down and hold on for a bit. Help will come soon. At least I hope so. Does the story not want these people to be saved? Probably not. That sounds right. <gasps> Chat, the coffin lids! Like the name of the game! That's the name of the video game! I like this art style. Chat, we need to go knock on these lids, I bet. Okay. Choose a difficulty. <laughs> Easy. Walking with monsters, okay? Normal. The enemies will pretend that they want to stop you. Hardcore. Survive, die, repeat. Terrible. <laughs> You'll wish you were in the coffin. I'm going to do normal. Just because I... <gasps> he knocked on the coffin lid. Oh, my head's splitting. What's going on? Hmm. I don't even know where to start. What are you interested in the most right now? Where are we? Somewhere between the Elven fortifications and the Heathlands. This guy seems trustworthy. Ivar's dead? What happened to him? The wine you brought on the trip was poison. Ingvar, Venagus, Bjorn, they're all dead. Go on and tell me, why should I believe you? It's easy to see I'm telling the truth because their coffins are next to yours. You all died. I've brought you back to life. You're welcome. Thanks. Who poisoned the wine? Was it you? Me? Why would I kill you only to resurrect you? Who are you anyway? And what do you want from me? You may call me Mortis. You don't owe me anything. Just go home. Not so fast. Just do go you home. know who poisoned the wine? How much time has passed? And if Ingvar's dead, then who is ruling the Northern Gate? Too many questions, Percival. Does that surprise you? Why did you bring me back? What about the others? All in good time. I'll tell you when we meet again. I'll figure things out on my own. I'm not so sure I want to meet you again. That seems like a I'm good response. This is inevitable. Safe that journey. feels intelligent. going on here every time you die you come back here i could have told you from the start okay so this but is I like i wanted it to be a surprise 
Well, I suppose it's better than eternal oblivion. He just stops and just Go drinks on. the wine again and dies Are there again. Any more surprises? You'd move back, not in space, but in time. Everything that happened after your resurrection hasn't happened yet. Stop so drinking the wine. Should I start over? You promised to answer my questions. All right, one thing at a time. Tell me everything you remember. So I guess we're Percival. Yeah. Our, whoa. So I set out, feeling a vague anxiety. Big map. And Big map. I couldn't even imagine how much things had changed, and I had no idea of the dangers that were awaiting me. You're a warrior. You're used to dangers. Don't blame me. Any story must have an element of surprise in it. Any story. Okay. Event log. Meet with Sigismund. Sigismund will not let his brother's murder go on perp unpunished. Together we'll find the guilty parties and punish them. Where am I? Where? Oh, I guess I can go here. Oh, I see. Oh, where am I? Tr I'm trying to get here. Oh, it's like Mario Party, but with murder. Got it. Um. So I guess... Hmm. The routes are all pretty. Well, it's a roguelike, right? We're just going to start over when we die anyway. The humans have betrayed our friendship. Is that a recruit? Okay. I don't have shoes on? Just the grippers out? Hmm? Just out for everyone to see. Those are combat grippers. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, I only have three as opposed to... this okay strength and evasion boy i wish i had more more shit all who follow sigma the betrayer are enemies okay well there's three hit points left my man he's dead <laughs> he's dead Deal four damage when dealing damage and inflict two exposed. Deal nine damage if the enemy is exposed. Deal the same damage once again. Let's do crush. I do need shoes. <laughs> I do. I need shoes. I have no feet on. I have feet, but I don't know fucking shoes. Some on. elves attacked me. That was the last thing I expected. What happened? Are the elves and humans enemies now? The mysterious death of Ingvar put an end to your alliance. No one knows who poisoned the wine, so everyone's blaming Rippers each other. have been detained. Yeah, we gotta keep... Gotta save that. But the humans have always helped the elves. Percival's only fans. You mean Ingvar's people helped the elves? Actually, the elves consider the humans to be very fickle. Aren't they right? Cool. Okay, so now we can go to a fight or an event. That's treasure? Ooh. Oh, we have no health. <gasps> Good. I think we're okay. I'm 
not worried about that yet. Is there a camp? Let's go this way. Let's do this fight. I want to get these. Oh, puppers! Bipedal prey is easier to catch. So, who do you say you met? Oh, it's not important anymore. <laughs> Again, I just want to say, I understand that wolves are an important, like, fantasy enemy. Like, can I? Hey, look at me. Look at me. But it still makes me sad. Oh, that's good. I kind of... The parry might be good. Oh, but we're kind of making this exposed build a little bit here. So you listened to my advice and went home? I went to Sigismund, Ingvar's younger brother, and the heir to the throne. To what end? What do you mean, to what end? First of all, to figure out what to do. I wanted to tell Sigismund everything I knew and to hear everything he knew. I wanted to confer with them and put together a plan for the future. I was certain that he wouldn't let Ingvar's death go unpunished. We both have much to find out. The farther I went, the more reasons I found for meeting with Sigismund. Let's start from the beginning. Sort of, an, this is an interesting, like, framing device. We should. I'm hey. going for treasure, chat. I ran into an elven ambush and was captured. Fortunately, they wanted to question me before exterminating me. With a bag on my head and hope in my heart, I waited for interrogation. I'm not trying to escape. Concussion. So we got cursed for doing that. I tried to get away, but the elves calmed me down with a blow to the head. When I came to my senses, the bag had already been removed from my head. Their commander interrogated me when I told them everything, and I told them everything. When the elves found out that I had been Ingvar's bodyguard. Their attitude immediately changed. They even offered me food and shelter. But I hurried to say goodbye to them. You never know what would happen if we could come and... Okay. So, obviously, we probably could have played that better. Because it seems... They seem friendly, and I was like, Get off of me! Nah! In this elven camp, you can rest peacefully. I mean, that's good. Now it's time for treasure. I came, I saw, I took. I don't remember who said that. 60 gold. Oh, fuck. Worm's head. Trickster's hat. Gain three barbed when taking damage, inflict bleeding. Start of the turn, lose one strength. Okay, but I'm like a strength build. What does Balm do? Gives you the card for Troll's Blood. Let's do uh, the, the... The part... Okay. The, the, the part of me that is... You know, that is screaming the loudest says Worm's Head. I'm going to take the worm set. I know we probably should take the troll armor, but I want to take this goofy helmet. I had been planning an easy trek through the sunny city, but I quickly realized that the first band of elves to come across me would put an end to me. I had to find a way around the elven lands. You could go west to the Rotten Bog, which is home to the mysterious worshippers of the Might Cult. Or go east to the Orcish hunting grounds and the Earthworm Caves. Great. One route is better than another. I don't even know which one I like best. But the choice is always up to you. Interesting. This is super D&D &D coded. Also, <laughs> like I'm feeling 
Mortis is our dungeon master. Event log. Is there like, what's, what's the journal? Can I, how do I do this? This like studied thing is interesting. I wonder. Okay, this is stuff we can't fuck with yet, I don't think. That's all right. Let's do the event. <gasps> I noticed the corpse of an elf in the forest. He was already dead. There were no harvesting if he had any valuables. It's called looting, my friend. <laughs> yeah, it's called looting, my friend. And I'm not just strolling around, you know, I have to survive somehow. I immediately found some coins in his pocket, but I heard footsteps and voices nearby. Then I found a wallet with money. Okay. We're gonna leave. <laughs> I don't wanna get in another fight. Dwarves don't use bows, yet this elf was killed with arrows. Interesting. Yeah, the elf, yeah. He willed me his belongings. It's totally fine, chat. Don't even worry about it. All right. Another treasure chest. Some money. Ah, oh, trolls. Boots of weakness. At the start of battle, inflict four weakness on the enemy. When playing two attacks on a row, gain two strength. When playing a skill, the strength bonus is removed and gain two balm. Increase maximum HP by 10. Clone three random talent cards. Oh, shit. That sounds great. Elf Jeremy said Percival should have his money back. Yeah, he was being... Guys, he's just being really nice. An elven patrol was just up ahead, and I wanted to avoid them. As I was trying to sneak past them, there came a shot from behind. Hey, you, stop or we'll shoot. So much for my discretion. I had to think fast. We haven't fought anything in a minute. Let's do that. Ooh, is that karma? Is that a karma meter? If it's, oh my god, I look like such a dweeb. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I thought I would look cool. Um, Let's go ahead and pop that. And then I want to do that. And that's my turn. So they lose one attack. Yep. My silly hat. Um, what does Muddle do? Randomize the cost of all the cards in your hand. I'm worried what that would mean, though. Muddle just happens. Okay. Oh, okay. So I have this for exposed. You dick. How's my... Oh, my health is totally fine. We're okay. I was like, oh, oh am I I've not been looking. Am I dying? Um, cool. So I lost kidney punch, which is great, but. <laughs> 
much his coins are protecting you from damage. Yeah, I appreciate you, my friend. My my elf, my dead elf friend. Cool. And I've got nothing left. This uh, piercing damage going up is making a problem here. Yeah, sick. We got to we got to draw a card. Um, I actually gonna do that. I imagine this game, this game gets crazy once you start getting like cards and combos and stuff. Ooh, that sounds good. That also sounds good. Let's do that one. Oh, the Elven Sword. Uh, yeah, I'll look at my stuff later. This kind of reminds me of the battalion, uh, the battalion flash games. Yeah, yeah, it's uh. So we lost double blow, but now we're getting evasion. God, it looks so. It looks like a dweeb. here an elven idol allows you to make an offering to the primordial forest spirits and receive their gift why not here you go bear spirit armor uh increase maximum health by 20 every second time a skill is played gain one strength holy shit that's kind of great is it better though so what do we have right now clones talent cards i think maybe this might be better increases our well increases our maximum health by 20 is great and every time a skill is played every second time a skill is played so if i like do that lunge attack twice Finally, some rest. So I can rest, train, or exit. Well, I should train my cards first, right? I should do that. Try as I might, I can't remember how I came to the frontier or how I died. It might be this this fight that's about to happen down here in the corner. <laughs> on a peacekeeping mission to the frontier. It might be that. The dwarves and the elves were on the verge of war. Only the Lord of the Northern Gate managed to bring them to the negotiating table. But the mysterious demise of your party ruined everything. This actually would be a really sick, like, D&D &D campaign our bodies prompt. Returned home? Like, you're dead, I brought you back to life. As the dwarven invasion began, you were buried hastily and with no ceremony. The affairs of the living, as ever, turned out to be more important than the problems of the dead. 
Okay. Sorry, I was adjusting the camera a little bit there. Ooh, we're like very hurt. The senior druid sent a cutthroat after me who gained on me at the edge of the elven domain. The trail of fresh corpses leading towards me from the tomb. They didn't have any difficulties tracking me down. My long-term friendship with the elves is sort of slightly tainted. You did not want to kill the elves. To return home, I was willing to slaughter all the elves in my way. We might not win this fight, but also, like, dying is a part of it, so. The good old elven tradition is collecting severed heads. Probably about to get my my shit pushed in here. Oh, thanks for the curse. Thanks. A breather never hurt anybody. Cool, okay, so I just saw that go up from using that ability again. That might have been a mistake. I'm gonna be sad we're gonna lose our dumb helmet, but like we are we are just learning how the game goes, so I have a feeling we're supposed to die here. That was ghost. Oh, I can't play skills? Uh-oh. Yeah, we're gonna die. That's okay. Unless he misses again, which... died all right that's cool and then this is so you level up from dying so that's fine uh you're understandably upset that upon rebirth you have to start back from square one but this is not precisely true of course you lose all your acquired skills and equipment but there's something even more valuable that remains is knowledge you will learn your path your options what works and what doesn't over time you'll be honed for success that's the genius of my plan Change class slash difficulty. Oh, cool. All right, so there's classes. Interesting. Okay. Knowledge of gripper combat, yeah. Okay, cool. So let's see what this changes. 
Oh, I wake up. Groundhog Day ass cycle. So it's like I look into the future? And if you don't like something in the future, you can try and change it. Oh, so like... What I don't like is getting killed for the most part. That's exactly what I meant, for the most part. And how long will it last? What do you want from me? It'll last until I decide you've had enough. Enjoy yourself. Do you have a problem with that? Think about what you want, Percival. Cool, so now we know I can like go here and this is a fight, right? I, I am sad that my fucking feet are out again. Hmm. Ooh, that, okay. Deal five damage, add a copy to the discard. Viva La Pete's. As I understand, Sigismund was your friend in your past life. My only friend. We've been friends since childhood. And you had no other friends? The notables find it hard to hide their arrogance when they talk of commoners. But Sigismund has always been different. Can you imagine? One time he even punched Ingvar when he told me to clear the table. Joking? Did he really punch the Lord of the Northern Gate? No, of course not. We were oh, all he, he, he gave him a wedgie and a swirly. It was haunting. All right, so like, so now we know that this is okay. I want to, I want to try this. My best friend. Okay, so I have to do so I have to do more than eight damage. All right, here we go. Goodbye, pigums. Notch. Right burn. Deal four damage, gain one strength. If the enemy intends to attack, gain two strength. Gain five block. Gain five block on the next turn. That that would be good. Okay, cool. So like we go here now, right? Hey. So I ran into the elven ambush. Okay. So Try to escape. We know that that's... We got a card, and it was like the concussed card. So what if I do this? I was interrogated by Captain Marcus, the squad leader. I told him everything. Who I was, where I was coming from, where and why. When the elves found out that I had been Ingvar's bodyguard, their attitude towards me immediately changed. They offered me dinner and overnight accommodation. And of course, I did not refuse, or that would be always so. Cool, so now this is a camp. Uh, I fill the skin with water from the stream. You have to replenish water supplies in time so you don't have to drink from the puddles. So I can... This is... Okay, this is cool. I like this a lot. Flourishing lunch. Right.
So we got like some gold from this guy. But the war trade doesn't stop. Demonic helmet, demonic boots. Man, I wish I had any money at all. I could get demonic things. Well, I could. I can't do shit. I'll buy one of these, I guess. Ah. So he's a traitor now. It's not tre. Oh no, the treasure was here. So I can go to the treasure chest, pop that open. And it should be different, right? Sick. All right. Sword of weakness. When dealing damage to hit points, inflict one weakness. However, okay. Horned helmet. Gain two armor. Burn. And I. Th oh, that's sick. Okay. At the start of a turn, gain four block for every burned card. I'm going to get the helmet, I think. We got to put a dumb hat on. That's that's how these things work. So it looks like things change. Well, no, we went this way last time. That's right. Passing through a clearing on a bright moonlit night, a strange man approached. With outstretched arms, he offered me a sword. He was explained he explained the sword was looking for a new owner. I warily examined the stranger, but my suspicions were aroused. He seemed indisposed. I will take the gift. I'm sure this is cursed as fuck. I wasn't sure I was ready to be owned by a sword, but I accepted the offer. Maybe it would turn out to be useful. A cursed sword. Gain one strength for every curse in the deck. Gain one attack damage. Right? I mean, I have to take the sword. The brother's got them sharing, guys. Yeah. Right, and we can't go back here. See what he's got. Troll helmet. Can't buy shit. Robber's armor. Now I can buy that. If I sell my sword, right? No, that would be that would be enough money. All right, never mind, I guess. I'll see you later. I'm broke as shit. All right. Ask to be purged. Will that kill me? It deletes a card. Sure, since I've not been able to buy anything anyway. In a random effect for every card in your hand. Okay, that's kind of neat. Let's try this again. We're going to die. There's no way. There's no way. Very timely because I was being pestered by clothes bugs. Get rid of them only with the help of a campfire. How is that? You have to hold your clothes over an open fire for a while. Especially the folds and seams. That's smart. I didn't know that. You live and you learn. And how do you get rid of them? I try not to get them at all. Well, I try pretty hard too. Let's heal. And I guess we'll see how this fight goes with this. <laughs> this, yeah. All right. I didn't. I didn't kill any elves this time though, so maybe he won't be. Man, no shoes. Gotcha. Damn, I've got...
Oh, cool, that blocks. I can't do anything. That's what that does. So I guess we go through until we're strong enough to beat this guy. So does this curse just stay in my hand the whole time? That's interesting. That gave me barbed? That's cool. It's actually not going bad. Better than water. Ah. The bar getting barbed was huge. I have a feeling like inflicts damage twice. We might pull this out. Oh, oh, I punched the mic. Um, so you gotta die to proceed further. That makes it like a roguelite card game. Yeah. So usually in roguelites, what happens is like you lose, but like they give you resources after you lose in order to come back stronger. So it'll probably happen, like, if we beat this guy, we'll get a bunch of experience, but we'll get some experience if we die. I actually might be able to kill him this, this turn. Or not. His strength is so high. Swinks. Right up. Okay. Damn it, I'll have to walk home. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I guess he will, bud. I guess he will. Interesting. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, the evasion is tough. I'm not really able to hit him. I haven't been able to touch this dude. 
according to my calculations, you should have died by now. Boy, if that's not something that my brain tells me all the time. Cool, alright. Now we're back. Alright, yep. Skip. We wake up. Okay, so... Why are you so sure that I'll go to the northern gate and won't turn away from the path? Good question. There's just nowhere left for you to go. Well, I could go to the Four Winds. I have no wife or children. I don't have any family or friends left. My parents are already dead, and I hardly knew them. My only friend was Sigismund. I wanted to meet him. Ask him a few questions about the poisoned wine. Did you know that? I think is that the reason Morda for your I, confidence? I'm not. I don't know about Mortis, you guys. One of the reasons. Everything matters. Every little thing. There's no one main reason. It's too difficult for me. But you're right about one thing. I have nowhere else to go. So I guess now if we go over here, right? So we know. Elven hospitality. Right, we know like there's a treasure chest, we know the cursed sword is there. What if we take a completely different route? Like, let's go this way. Wow, fight, 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 fight. Or, let's try this, we'll go here. Fight these wolves again. Bipedal prey is easier to catch. Would dying in a harder battle yield more experience? It might. I'm not sure exactly if there's like a any rhyme or reason. Well, there probably is rhyme or reason to it, but um. Looks like it has to do with like points. Gain one gold for every 20 gold you have. That seems fun. All right. Let's go this way. A drunken dwarf had apparently decided to pick a fight with some elves. I happened to encounter him on his way to an elven outpost. Rudely telling me off, he proceeded to invite me to follow him pay a visit to some of those haughty elves. I realized that no matter what I decided, drunken dwarves demand delicate diplomacy. I decided to humor him and see what would happen, so we went to pay a visit to the elves. And you, and you still act shocked when the elves call your people traitors. Oh, okay. Good, my my drunky mc uh Oh cool. Yeah, more combat grippers. Well, I did that. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, they're only going to attack him, so. Make me feel bad, huh?
So I guess considering that... Oh my god. Play that card again, and then... Uh, Ow! Why is he hitting me? Oh, is that how I'm getting the armor? He, he attacks me and then I get armor? I can have so much money at the end of this fight. I've played this card three times. This guy does not attack. He's just all support. Oh, this is kind of neat. Grab this grudge. Orcs axe. Hmm. Let's do the lance. That seems fun. The dwarves attack the frontier. Well, it's no wonder. They've always considered that the land belonged to them and dreamed of purifying it of the elves. Only Lord Ingvar managed to restrain their aggression. Ingvar tried to maintain peace, but alas, he was poisoned. And his younger brother and heir, Sigismund, has done nothing to prevent the bloodshed. Oh shit, that's kind of cool. Just free attacks. I couldn't even remember who that was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mysteriously poisoned. Certainly couldn't be a uh... Certainly couldn't be anyone else. Oh my god. Some highwaymen had blocked the bridge over the ravine with barrels of gunpowder and was sitting on top of them. Apparently he deemed it necessary to blow up the bridge for some reason, and he did not want to wait until I crossed. Oh, I'm 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 on like a negative karma run. Mm. Yeah, especially not someone whose name rhymes with Dordis. Yeah, he seems like a problem. Well, the lance rules. I can attack this guy so much <laughs> with the lance. Draw the bottom card from the draw pile. It costs zero for this turn. That might be good. Hey, we know the horned helmet. Oh, 
work helmet. Let's grab that. Oh shit, that's cool. Robbers have never before dared to enter the urban forests. They've come down from the north, from the heathlands, which have been recently ravaged by the war. It's a refuge of outcasts and fugitives from the Empire, but Ingvar thought they were decent, freedom-loving people. Starvation and devastation may force even decent people to become bandits and marauders. Uh, does this the weapon triangle? No, I don't think it. I don't think there's anything like that in this. But if there is something like that, they've not told me about it yet. So. That was cool. If it goes on like this, you won't get anywhere. Weakness. <laughs> Just stabbing the shit off this guy. I can sick blocks. I'm gonna grab that. Five block, five gain five block, draw one. That sounds great. Good. <gasps> the worm's head. It's back, baby. By accident, I interrupted an elven sharpshooter's training session. Oh, fuck. He killed that guy. Oh, hey. Um, he seemed... Uh, he missed the bullseye. The miss hit seemed to frustrate and prove his skill. He said he used me as a target. There's some of the about I recognize his arrows. The same. Oh, so that's neat. So if we'd gone through here normally, we would have just seen this event. But since we saw the elf that had gotten ki killed earlier... Now we ha we have this. We can ask about the arrows. <laughs> Sniper proudly stated these were his personal, unique signature arrows. I asked him directly why he was killing other elves, but the question had no effect. Either this self-absorbed guy handles himself masterly, or he has no idea what I'm hinting at. Oh, we got some good karma coming off that. <laughs> that. Hell yeah. <laughs> Die, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. That went well. Yeah, Roger, did you shoot Jeremy? Oh, press to digitate burns, huh? Do that. Jab. Okay. So I can do that, and then that'll probably. The fact that he didn't loot him, just, yeah, it's, this is not a good dude. Got some 
gold. Gain five block at the end of each turn. That's rad. Yeah, I'll take that. Trolls Club. What does the axe do? Oh, that's losing health. No thanks. I will take this Trolls Club, though. Training now improves two cards. We have Flint already. I guess we'll use the... Uh... Yes. <laughs> More money. So I imagine, like, we can interact with more stuff, and then we'll learn, like, um, we can learn, like, what happened with the, the dead guy. Straight up just fucking sting from Lord of the Rings, is that... So we could hmm, troll helmet. So we have a troll club. I could buy the troll helmet. Sell that. Sell that. I mean, I like the spear, but bomb heals us at the end of our turns. That's kind of huge. I'll go find another healing potion. Finally, some rest. I had an unpleasant incident. I picked up a mite somewhere in the forest. Oh, the mites. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to rest because this fight's going to be a pain in the ass. The Berserker Axe on this is just like the Fire Emblem one. Berserker weapons harm the user. An elf champion is a warrior who seeks to defeat only the most powerful enemies, thereby increasing his mightiness and glory. I could have been proud that an elf champion chose me as his opponent. Tracked me down and challenged me to a fair fight, but to tell the truth, I did not have time with him for him. But it is indeed a great honor. It's too much honor. So bomb at the start of okay, so we we get one hit point back at the end of is that He has a lot of death health. Oh, I should kill the squire, probably, right? The smurf elves are scary. Yeah, so he boosts him. So I need to take this guy down. Cards. Like, I don't know if header is really worth it. Header. Crush and blow. I'm not, like, super worried about... Oh, two attacks in a row, we add two strength. That's kind of that's kind of cool. How much bomb do I have? Four. Sixteen damage and one additional damage for every ten of the hero's bomb. So that would do eight. That would do just do 16 damage. That boosts.
increase my strength. Interesting. I don't think we're gonna win this fight either, but like, it is it is neat. Okay, cool. Um, play tough enough. God damn. He's just gonna keep buffing him, I think. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so we got a bunch more experience that time. Interesting. You like this kind of card battle over the trading card game kind? Yeah, this is a cool I like this a lot. I was I was very like Why am I telling you all this? You already know how the story ends, so what's the point? Knowledge is power. I need to figure out the causes of everything that's happening to see the consequences. Does this answer your question? Not really. Although it's more than I expected of you. You'll understand a lot of things at the end of your journey. But not everything. There will always be something beyond your understanding. And my Interesting. So, like, we could... Let's try going... So, I think this boss changes, so it's the champion now. Interesting. This way. Oh, it's just a man, a thug. <laughs> Mortis avoiding explaining anything. That's what makes him sus, though. card I'll grab kidney blow I guess passing through the forest I came to a camp of bandits the people resting by a bonfire eyed me warily but none of them took up arms so I calmed down a little I was invited to the bonfire assuming I wouldn't be able to refuse that invitation I quietly approached them the warmth and steady soothing light of the fire beckoned me nearby two bandits are having a duel nobody's paying any attention to them a little further away few people were excitedly throwing dice. They're playing D&D! &D. Um, on the other side stood a cage covered with tilt. I'm gonna go to the cage. I wanted to look at the cage, but it wasn't allowed to do that. Bandits instantly unsheathed their weapons. 
and told me that if I needed the captive, I could buy him out for a hundred coins. But they forbade me from coming close to him. I'll buy this man. You know, I've been thinking. The Heathlands are not on my way. But the detour isn't that long. Are you thinking of going there? I wouldn't advise it. You'll encounter a combat golem. What is that? The dwarves have placed these golems on all the paths leading from the frontier to the heathlands to prevent bandits from returning home. Interesting. I'll try to destroy him. You won't survive his first attack without the insubstantiality effect. But there's another way. You can disable and even capture the golem if you know the access password. So I guess this is the Heathlands, maybe? <gasps> I have a boy! Bipedal prey is easier to catch. <laughs> Oh, you better not. really said I could help you, but I won't. Yeah. Ah, uh, some rest. Okay. Felt like I caught a cold. It started to get chilled. Willow Bark Tea helped me. I've heard it relieves fever. Yes, it's a proven army remedy. Without such knowledge, you'd perish on March. So, like, okay. Let's do the draw one. Came across a man lying in a pool of blood on the roadside. He was alive, but just barely. I was tempted to help him, but he was also clearly abandoned. You know what? I'll be nice. I'll give you a potion. I gave him a healing elixir. When he came around, I questioned him. He was a bandit, just as I suspected. When he tried to double-cross his partners in crime, they gutted him. He pointed me in the direction that they have gone. Yeah! New friends! So do I have two party members now? So they're all alone now? I have nowhere to go? I guess so. Come with me. All right, but all acquired gold will be split between us. Hey, I actually did want you to help. I actually did want to help you when I offered you my company. I don't mind at all being your companion... But if you need a servant or squire, I'm not the right man. Okay. So am I going to have the dog and the bandit? Because that's great. So I, get, so I don't I don't get a lot of gold. All right. Armor of Vengeance. Increase HP by 10. Oh, shit. That. So this is part of a set. Start of the battle, gain one armor for 100 gold. Well, that's not helpful now because I have no fucking money, so I'll grab that. Getting a whole army out there. Hi! Uh, well, true and... True and sour noise. I hope I pronounced that right. Or true. True, hi! Welcome to the stream. Don't even try. You got it. Fair enough. Oh, the lone figure of an elf suddenly emerged from the darkness right in front of me. I was so scared, I nearly stabbed him to death reflexively. The elf briefly and quietly explained his situation to me. He had tracked down a dwarven warlord, but he couldn't take him down alone. He needed my help. I will help. Good karma. Good karma. Oh, my dog is gone. What the fuck? 
dwarves consider themselves the masters of the frontier. But for everyone else, they are treacherous invaders. Okay, so we want that. Go ahead with that. Hmm, I don't know if that was smart. I chose to stay on purpose to chuckle at streamers butchering it. Does that make me a bad person? No, I don't think so. Good goof. A fine goof. There's a party limit and the dog is on standby. I'd rather have the dog than this, this guy who's nickel and diming me over here. Okay, so they're all exposed, right? Hey, hey, teammates, what are you going to do? Oh, I guess they're giving us, giving me armor and stuff. That's good. Gained one block, got flourish, die. All right, cool. Here, it might come in handy. Oh shit, cool, he gave me a card. You summon somebody else? Probably. Or or no, he taunted me. I see, I see, I see. All right, anyway. <sighs> yeah! All right, half my money goes to the bandit. That's fine. That's cool. Oh, shit. Getting elf kitted out here. I do need shoes. Thank God I have shoes now. The grippers are, aren't out anymore. I'll just get the treasure. Certainly there's no mimics in this game. Vampire boots. When dealing health damage, we heal. Okay. That sounds like a good. Better shoes, baby. Oh, there's the boss again. Can I go back? Okay, we're full on health, so we should train a card. We probably should train a card that gives us like Yeah, now we're getting stylish, baby. All right, what if we did flourish? Seven damage, inflict two exposed. Let's do that. Back to the exposed build again. Oh, it's the elven champion. All right. Well, we should have a whole, our whole posse here. The wolf. Oh, don't. You better not. A All right. Of honor would be honorable to fight without a squire. Oh, they're not going to attack. That's why. Okay. The elf was a one-time helper. I mean, that's okay. If they, they better not come after my, my, my doggo, though. I'm gonna get mad if they do. I'll be quite upset. Okay. 13 damage. Draw one. Invasion. Yeah, good boy. I don't 
don't like that the that the wolf oh no the dog guys i'm a little upset Whoa. i don't like the dog oh thank god they went after the the other guy okay 15 damage inflicts two exposed to be able to use the trap. He gave himself evasion. He is exposed. It's going to do that. We're just burning his evasion now. Yeah! Oh, uh, my dog! He's doing so good. He's being such a good boy, chat. I'm so excited. We're about to, like, actually progress here. We did it! Holy shit. Dominance, please. Thanks. Trickster's amulet. Gain one energy. Increase block gain by... Car. Okay. Immune for the first four turns. That's pretty rad. I think I'm gonna take that. Thanks. Clone and draw a card of your choice from the draw pile. Oh, the cucumber gives me energy, though, right? All right, I got from the frontier to the swamps without incident. It was a challenging road, but at least someone tried to kill me. As soon as I entered the rotten bog, the attempts on my life resumed. Neat. Okay. I came upon... Oh, wait, I forgot. I gotta put my shit on here. Okay, I can't find a completely deserted village. I didn't notice any traces of destruction, disorder, corpses, or blood. All the inhabitants had left it without taking anything with them. All right, let's... Blacksmith shop? <laughs> Arc reactor fest. You found I gotta hold of some equipment in the blacksmith shop. Oh, here's the troll leather armor. What do these do? Jab cards inflict poison. I don't really want to do that. Do I still have my posse with me? I sure do. Loaded zombie. Oh yeah, don't worry about guard now. Because I'm you have I'm immune. one left. This armor is busted. That's crazy. 
though. Oh, the card leveled up. Helmet of Freedom. Start of the turn, draw one. Oh, interesting. So that goes with the boots. Let's grab this. The undead roam the swamps. They prey upon outsiders, yet for some reason, they leave the denizens of the swamplands in peace. a lot of experience with the enemies figure out how to beat it, yeah. The undead of the Rotten Bog are not fully dead. Yes, they're very old, even ancient, but still they are living beings. I'm not an expert on the undead. Zombies are zombies. Zombies! Right. But strictly speaking, they are alive. Although it's a stretch to call their existence a life. They were brought to this state by the cult's ritual drink, Igor of Might. Interesting. I'm gonna go over here. So we can we might be able to befriend them. It's funny. I don't like that helmet is cursed. I look like a dork. <laughs> So what does this do? Gain two strength. All enemies gain one strength. I'm gonna... No. Draw one is better. That's a better choice. Oh my god! Holy shit! There are plenty of cute beasties of all stripes in the Rotten Bog. Human-sized mosquitoes can't be missed among the other animals. Just imagine it. A swamp dweller's fish calmly in the same habitat as those bloodsuckers that can drain a human... In one gulp, like a glass of tomato juice, the divine might's corruption deforms all forms of life. Suddenly we're in Florida. Yeah, let's see how this goes. We do have the squad here, though. You can't swap these things away like some annoying midget. <laughs> yep, there you go. Just a some quick damage there. And... For some monster movie like this. Oh, there's definitely it hemorrhage. Burn if in the hand at the end of the turn. Right, I'll just use that. So. Not worried about that right now. Gain zero block. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Unfortunately, I can't use any of my good cards because I have to. This is for you, Pershamal. He doesn't know my name. <laughs> I just realized. Uh, I saved that dude's life. He doesn't know my name. He called me Pershamal. because of the thing yeah good try good try my man this might be a good we might have a baby run here i 
I believe in you, Persimmon. Sacrificial burn. Double the damage for the next attack. Okay, I went bad. Mosquito sucker. Upon dealing damage, remove the target's bleeding. Oh shit, hold on. This is cool. Mandrick root. Immune for one turn. I'm gonna do this. Potion, please. Wow, we got a lot of shit from that fight. All right, so... Oh, this replaced the metal. That's what it was. But now... So with this... Upon dealing damage, remove the target's bleeding in multiples of five to gain balm for bleeding. So I need to inflict bleeding in order to make that work. No... However, I'll hold on to this stuff. We're kind of, we kind of can do like a bomb. Are we per squido? <laughs> Upon watering the swamps, I came upon a dilapidated hut of an alchemist. Its owner, as decrepit as his abode, told me that many years ago he'd moved to the rotten bog to be closer to his precious ingredients. I'll ask. Mm -hmm. I asked if I could buy potions from him. It turns out that this man didn't need money at all because he simply has nowhere to spend it, nothing to spend it on. He agreed to give me his latest invention absolutely free, the triumph of science. Could the old man possibly be out of his mind after living among his precious mosses and lovely lichens? With every minute of conversation, I doubted his sanity even more. More and more. Weird potion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Neat. I met an unusual zombie, to be precise. What was unusual about him was his garb. Heavy, gilded armor. It's easy to run away from a walking dead man in armor. What if I kill him and take his armor? What if we killed him and took his armor? The temptation was too strong to resist. I rushed into battle. I mean, I feel good about my... Oh, is this the fucking kid? So he reduces your strength when you attack him. That's interesting. Not my dog. This might have been a bad idea. Now that's strange. This is for you, Pershimal. Greed is good, they say. That's, I mean, who knows? We'll see what happens. I do have this. You know, while I'm invincible, why don't I try this? Did you throw an empty bottle at the Hell yeah, after dude. That? All right. Deals 33 damage two times. Dude, that alchemist. The alchemist clutch. Inscribed Armor of the Fire Brothers. Holy shit. 
Lose 10 health, gain 10 armor. The attacker takes half of the blocked damage. Holy shit. That kind of rules. Um, when in the burning. Start of the turn, deal one damage for each burning. I mean, I'll take it. I have to take it, but get him, Persquito. Let's take a look at this thing. Hold on. So, flaming item. When in the inventory, as a burning card. Burn. All right. Ignore damage from burning. So does that mean, like, if a card would burn? I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, our setup is pretty good right now. I don't want to fuck with it too much. I think they meant the seared card. Oh, okay. A death idol. Ancient and moldy. The death trap was just the right place for it. Should you make an offering? Such dangerous and inconceivable forces. Why the fuck not, right? Loads of blood. That idol I came across in the swamps was truly sinister and unusual. Did the cult place it there? You're mistaken. As the cultists of the might do not honor any idols, their beliefs are of a different kind. You happened across an idol The wording of, of the game is janky. Okay. They appear in wild and uninhabited areas. I don't know who places them. The worship of death is obviously a secret affair, so no one will admit of it to you. Instead of an offering of gold, it demanded my blood. That's right. By bringing your death closer, you earn its favor. Oh, I see. But I can heal now. Not all the way. Oh, it's a spy. The ugly, blood curdling creature who styled herself the Queen of Mites was a very shy person by the looks of it. She did not let anyone look at her, anyone except her victims. Even the elders of the cult had never seen her, but I have been granted that honor the honor of being her victim. Let's see how this goes. Summons Mites. Okay. Oh, she's exposed. Hell yeah. We have things that work with that. Ew. Where did this one come from? Oh, I can't take damage though, so whatever, fuck you. <laughs> It's gonna be bad when this armor. Oh, give me some card. Yes. Getting this armor is really clutch, I feel like. Quit attacking these. I 
Attack the, attack the woman. Oh, they're all gonna attack me, huh? Fun time's over. It's an OP armor until it's not. Yeah, that's true. It's true. I still think we're doing pretty good, in all honesty. Spoke too soon there. That's bad. That's upsetting. I'm mad. Vampire boots, I forgot. Hey, bud, can you give me some armor? Oh, no. Okay, cool. Get him, not me. That's fine. She's about to summon, right? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. I need you to just do a little bit of damage. So he's going to give me cards? Okay. That's bad. Oh, thanks. Skin of my teeth. By the skin of my fucking teeth. Oh, if they're bleeding, that works with my boots, right? Right, because I have dealing health, damage to health if they have less than. Does bleeding. Upon dealing damage, remove bleeding in multiples of five. That might be, that might be good.
Random card from discard pile in hand. I already have this. Leading my funeral message for first Guido. I left the swamps behind me. I could have a rest at last. Damp and musty air in the place urged me to get out of there as soon as possible. But I knew what was ahead of me was worse. I knew what was ahead of, what was ahead of me was worse, but I was still relieved. Interesting. All my friends are dead. <laughs> All my friends died. A demon messenger approached me. He looked like an ordinary human. Um, and I believed him crazy when he offered me demonic power in exchange for an oath of fealty. He assured me that his masters were generous and the oath was a mere trifling formality. I mean, we're like level one. So like, oh, this means the demons are binding. Laughing merrily, he jeered. So easily bought. Now take your gifts. We'll be seeing you. This is some kind of nonsense. What do you mean? Is that it? I assure you, you wouldn't want to make a real oath of fealty to the demons. This is just some kind of game. I can't understand its meaning, and it annoys me. Oh, good. They're garbage. Good. It's bad. It's all bad. No. No. <laughs> I wanted so badly to be home, but the more I saw of what was happening around me in the world, the more I realized that nothing good would be waiting for me there. Had you hoped to see the Northern Gate as it was before your death? At first, yes, but those hopes quickly collapsed. And the quicker the better. I wouldn't want the shock from what will come to be too strong. You sound somewhat ominous. What else don't I know? Don't worry. Bit by bit, almost everything will be revealed to you. All right, chat. I'm going to run to the washroom real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, guys. Oh, I had to pee so bad. So bad. So this run is probably a bust, right? I approached an unfamiliar idol, the foot of which a boy was kneeling. Curiosity prompted me to approach the child. The boy's words made me feel easy. He prayed to the Inquilians to take his soul and possess his body. My health went down again. <laughs> I lost. I, oh, card upgrade. Did it upgrade a bunch of my cards? Okay, well, that might have been okay. I do have one health, though. We are we are we we are not making it to the end of this area. <laughs> Unless there's potions in here. Some money. Poisonous armor. Increase max HP by ten. Five barbed. Taking damage. Maximum hit points by thirty. We have this though, right? I mean, I'll take something. I don't know. You have been drinking a lot of blood. That's funny. Um, at the entrance of the palace, I was greeted by a man, by the gatekeeper, looking a little like a man. I started to hear a human voice. In true demonic form, he demanded 500 coins. Oh, I didn't mean to pay. I wanted to fight him so we could wrap this run up. I was afraid that the chaos that reigned all around me hadn't left the northern gate untouched. But still, I hoped everything was fine there. I'm sorry I hadn't warned you. Did you want to give me a surprise? I sighed with relief when I saw from afar that the castle of the northern gate was intact. But after that... Instead of familiar houses and people, I kept meeting ashes and corpses. I didn't try to figure out what had happened. I just prayed to the god that Sigismund would be safe and sound, and hurried on towards the castle. 
Is this going to be a boss fight? Oh. Treasure, I guess. Shield of Purification. Now we have a shield. Uh, the Royal Forge was an empty, a demonic blacksmith had settled in it. It was taken aback when I recognized him as the old court blacksmith. Oh, there was little left of his old look. However, he seemed happy to meet me and even offered me his services. Create something special. Um, the blacksmith can make something special for me if I bring him a legendary item. To forge something special, materials must be special. To take, for example, a golem core, I can craft you armor from it like nothing I've forged before. And that armor would be completely invincible. Oh, I have one of those. Don't worry, boss. All right. Reforge items. So... Like, I don't know. God, I'm concerned about what this is going to do. Let's do this. Okay, cool. Goblin armor. Or the troll club. I did like the troll club. I also like the lance a lot. Let's do the troll club. I like that. We are not, uh, I, I don't, chat, I don't have the highest of hopes for, for the end here. We'll see what happens. All right, we need to rest. We have one hit point. <laughs> we need to rest. This is going to be a fight, I'm sure. Oh, no. I entered the throne hall and stared at Sigismund, unable to recognize my old friend in him. I didn't even notice the demonic ab abomination that was standing by the throne. I opened my mouth to say something, but couldn't utter a word. Oh, uh-oh. You, a dead man. What kind of power raised you from the grave? What about Ingvar? He was also, he has, has he also risen from the dead? It is too late. What is going on? What does all this mean, Sigismund? We've got so many questions for each other. Sit down, Percival. Let's have a talk like old friends. I felt apprehensive as I opened the doors to the hall, but everything turned out to be even worse than I would care to admit. I won't even ask you what the beast next to you is. It's, it's my wife! Ah. Uh, why not? Please meet my new bodyguard. I gave Bjorn to Ingvar, so I needed some replacement. By the way, where is Bjorn? How does he feel? I'd hoped we'd stop this chaos together, but now I see that I'll have to do it on my own. We're gonna die. We're gonna absolutely not making it out of this. It'd be good. It would be good if we did, but I think I think we've been plenty lucky plenty of times, and I don't Your story coming to an end. Okay. <laughs> Thank God for my armor. That armor just saved me from getting hit with every fucking, uh, everything I had.
Is this a, I like that this is sort of our like we are we are lousy with curses, but our armor prevents us from taking damage. As soon as the armor wears off, we're absolutely toasted. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah. Mortis will help once we once we're dead. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna die. That's okay. I mean, this seems like this is like the last because there are three characters, and I think each character has their own storyline and this is my characters so it's good oh so the armor doesn't let me do it at all that's kind of interesting i mean it's fine there had to be a downside to the armor close fight no Only I had all my allies still. I thought those would be your last words. Imagine the XP. Yeah, we're probably gonna level up here. Yeah, see we got cards for doing that. I lost the king and its serpentoid life partner. Yeah. So if we look here. Cool. So level three. For Squido. Yeah. Oh. And we're back here. Last time you got far and saw enough to prepare yourself properly. Ooh, cool. Yeah, I'll do that. you give me some super strength you're a powerful wizard right <laughs> not as powerful as you think but you raised me from the grave enormous resentment and an insatiable desire for revenge raised you from the grave that's how it that's that's you know what that's fair because that's how i get out of bed every In morning fact, you were the classic restless undead they come back on their own sometimes but I didn't know who was responsible for my death. Or... Or did I? <laughs> Sigsman turned out to be the main cause of all misfortune. The main cause of all misfortune and his chaos, he must be killed. go like this way because we don't really know what any of this shit is over here at all mm -hmm. oh, rippers are out again
thirst had me exhausted completely. I sat down to rest on the roadside. I was powerfully thirsty. The roadside puddle beside me nearly dried up. There was still enough to take a few meager sips. Yeah, I'll, I'll drink the water. That's fine. Why not? <sighs> Fuck. I restored health, but I, uh... Thirst overcame me. Having drunk from the puddle, I continued on my way, feeling rather unwell. Suddenly there was laughter in the nearby bushes, and three bandits came out on the road. They were making fun of me. What were you doing here? I was drinking from this puddle. Yuck, gross. Even robbing you is disgusting. Give us all of your money and get out of here. No. No. The infection is bad. We have set ourselves up for failure with this infection card. Okay. Um, This is a neat game. Oh, is, is that a side of PP puddle? It might have been. something I should not have done. Give him to me. It's infection. I gotta get that out of get that out of my body. he expecting deal six damage per attack played this turn i'm gonna do that the trick the dwarves had strong motives for murdering ingvar he was a hindrance to their plans they had nothing to do with it ingvar was poisoned so that sigismund could ascend to the throne mm, you know too much and you talk too little be patient my friend be patient there's a time for everything, and we've got plenty of time. I'm not the only one who's got to be intrigued. Oh no, they're... Fun fact, when dwarves and elves are busy fighting each other, they're too busy to attack me. Sometimes they even ask me to help. One day I came across dwarves who were trying to topple an elven idol. They calmly invited me to join them and give a good heave-ho. I thought the dwarves worship the, the primordial spirits the same as the elves. They do, but not in the same way. You ever seen a dwarf druid, or maybe a shaman, or priest? Religious fanaticism is not inherent in dwarves. It's much more important for them to destroy everything, to get rid of the traces of the elven presence on the frontier. 
Even if the elves... Fuck, I, it's so fast. I can't read it. I'm sorry. Chat, I'm sorry. I can't read it. It's going too fast. I'm going to help the elves. Because I think if I leave this... I think if I can beat them and help with the idol. He's a strategic yapper. Yeah, he's he definitely is yapping. We're gonna die already. This is funny. Cleave. Yeah, sorry, YouTube. I was trying to read it, and uh, I could not. I'm hope I hope this idol rewards me big time. Great. Perfect. Is that kill oh it deletes a card? Infection is gone. Sick. All right. All right. What is clone three? All right. I'm gonna take the troll club. Tell me, would you like to avenge the death of Ingvar? I don't know. I was never fond of Ingvar as a person. His younger brother Sigismund was more agreeable and less arrogant. Well, clearly that not, because he... I thought he was my friend. Was he really behind my death? I don't know exactly who gave the order to poison the wine, but Sigismund was likely involved in the conspiracy against his brother. I don't like that he, like, looks away from me as Perhaps he's talking. Perhaps he even believes that he was the mastermind of the whole plot. Of course, that would be incredibly naive on his part. I'm sick and tired of your riddles. What do you mean? What I mean is that obviously Sigismund didn't value your friendship very much. But he is but a pawn in a much larger game. I could not avoid meeting an angry, man-eating bear. It had grown an enormous belly by devouring unburied corpses in the battlefield. I stumbled upon its den. And it turned out the owner was home. It was too late to retreat. I have no health. I did get bombed, though, so I'm gonna heal. You know what? Let's just do that. We'll just we'll get our armor and block up, and we'll hopefully it'll be okay. this is gonna go probably would have been better oh fuck i've got a fucking potion i'm too dumb what's this elixir made from <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh. I can beat this bear. Okay. 18 damage. Draw one. Death doesn't teach them anything. Can't believe I survived. Two random status cards, draw two, gain one exposed and two armor, burn two random cards, and get cleansing. Sadist boots. When inflicting exposed, inflict one weakness. At the start of his turn, gain four block for every burned card. I need shoes. The bear paw. Health is less than 50%. At the start of your turn, gain 25 block and one barb. Holy shit. That kind of rules. Wild animals stopped being afraid of people. They keep attacking. That's not normal, although I've already seen such behavior before. The frontier is at war. Uncollected corpses become food for predators and scavengers. The animals have tried human flesh, and they liked it. Oh, I see. I tried they view me as a tasty two-legged snack. Well, you're rather well-fed. Not too big, and completely alone. Not loving this. Okay, when we're flicking exposed. Okay. Cool, and then that made him weak. That's excellent. All right, I know. Neat. I'm learning. <laughs> All right. Oh, cleave. Perfect. Um, cleave. Cleave. Raises my strength because of the troll item. Dwarves are kind of regular height looking. They're just wider. They're just wider than Percival. Yeah. This wide, wide dwarfin. Sick. Cleave again. All right. Boys, yeah. Uh, burn, deal four damage, gain one strength with the enemy, attempts to attack, gain six block. Sorry, chat. Hold on. What? Uh, Okay, sandals, piece, helmet, two armor and two agility. Guess I'll do the, I need the shoes. We need some shoes. Witch's eye. Return. 
An intimidating party of dwarves rode out towards me on war steeds. Their appearance was vaguely reminiscent of something. Or something I seem to have already seen before. Oh, so they're demonic. That's, that's what's going on. They're demonic. Oh. Why are they skipping their turns? Oh, I have shoes. I'm stupid. That's fine. Probably should have grabbed the helmet. That's okay. That's okay. Look, you guys aren't here for good video game play. Oh my god, that noise was so sad. Matt. Um, draw until there are six cards in hand. Sure. Thirty percent price is better. No, I want the bear paw. That one is not good. Okay, that one doesn't upgrade. Nice. Oh. Oh, the mites. All right. Okay, we need to rest. We're very hurt. In the old days, I was a fairly frequent guest of the elves. These woods have always welcomed me. No bandits or man-eating beasts, and a sea of elven ale. Is all that truly over? It's gone forever. The feud between the elves and the humans will only grow, and I see no end to it. No, no, there must be a way to fix everything. An age-old friendship can't end like this. If Sigismund is replaced by a more worthy ruler... It's better if we discussed it later. No need to get ahead of ourselves. I almost got to the step steps when an odd-looking dwarf barred my way. He rode a wild boar, wore bear skin instead of armor, and used bear claws as his weapons. Our interests did not align. I wanted to talk to him, and he wanted to kill me. I never found out what masquerade he was dressed up for. So he's a berserker, I guess. Berserkers are the orcs of the dwarven world. Hmm. I don't know why I did that. I guess that puts them in my... Right, so we gotta start doing some damage here. Rest. 
All right. The orcs of the dwarf. Yeah, it's it's only a little racist, I guess. Hey, thank you for the follow. Oh shit. Oh, he heals? Uh-oh. I'm like concerned. I'm very concerned. I should not have won. I should not have won that. Doubles the effect on this of armor. This one, burn car. Okay. I managed to slice through the defense of the dwarves made with the crimson steps, but waiting there were the orcs and the goblins. Compared to them, the dwarves were very hospitable folk. Last time, you said that you'd barely known your parents. That's strange for someone of noble birth. I'm a commoner, but I was raised with young lords to become their loyal friend and vassal. I've heard that the nobility of the Northern Gate often takes orphans or children from poor families as wards. The common people appreciate it a lot. The point is not to please the commoners. I grew up with Ingvar and Sigismund, but nobody ever let me forget who I was or where I belonged. It was still a great honor and opportunity. The doors of high society This is I like open how this you. game is structured. Right. It's cool to like Otherwise, learn these I things. Remain poor for life parents i helped them out of poverty but i didn't visit them much it seemed to suit them since they had many other children i don't even remember exactly how many anyway why all this talk to see the future you have to take a look at the past so this is probably just another way to get to like um the boss fight i suppose The ground beneath me collapsed, and I fell right into an earthworm's den. The owner was not home when I got up to the darkness. Oh, negative karma. Not a chance. That's a worm, huh? Hmm. It's strange. I thought 
you already had developed a new one. So I really needed, like, cleave right there at the top to take them out. I like the teeth. Yeah, they're... I, it's a cool, well, I'm saying earthworm. I was like, I wonder what earthworm, that's weird. And then like we see them and they're like a whole ass thing. Worms chat, the worms. Why are they so strong? Uh, to kill you, I suppose. He does tell you not to go that way. Take the axe. Very cool. All right. Let's do this one. Oh, my fucking my toes are out. can't try he won't give us yeah he'll give us a little bitty power just a tiny power Ooh. okay hold on gain balm all right so we can buy the wolf Lose an item. Yeah, let's play the game. Oh, I won. Sick. Okay, cool. So that's like a little bit of money, I guess. being pals, yeah.
Oh no. Hey, the arrows. War is a filthy affair with corpses piling up and marauders descending like vultures, rifling through the dead and preying on the living. I came across one such piece of scum along the way. He lacked the cap capacity to even be embarrassed. On the contrary, he pecked me over and asked me to help him pull the boots off of a corpse. Let's keep our karma positive here. They decided to do something more hab habitual for me to kill him and steal his loot. Looting is an acquired taste. Shit, man. <laughs> Looting is... Yeah, you know what? You're right. Looting is just being thrifty. That's all. I'm not contributing to fast fashion. And, um helping the environment. Sick. Chaos, demoralize, draw one, it costs zero for this turn. It's like very like I'm gonna do demoralize. That seems good. Golden armor. <laughs> okay. Do you want to equip sure? It it doesn't do anything, but the end of the battle Oh. Yeah, alright. <laughs> doesn't do anything. It's so funny. That gives us extra items. Oh no! I'm gonna help you, buddy. Sharp sword. I pulled that out and kept it. The troll so grateful let me on my way without so much as a threatening growl. The troll didn't want to talk at all, only complaint. Yep. You know what? I'm gonna be really nice to this troll. Um, managed to find out that the previous owner of the sword was human, most likely a bandit. Uh, trolls are able to clearly express simple thoughts, but it's difficult to build a communication with them. You have to learn how to ask the right questions and not be too try not to be too smart. Did I get negative trolls karma? Have never been seen in the frontier. Which wild wind has brought them here? I suspect it has something to do with the dwarves. You're right. The trolls were brought here from Thundering Mountain by the dwarves. They have long used these giant imbeciles as draft animals. That doesn't seem very but nice. But somebody has given them the bad idea to train the trolls to consume elven flesh. So do they want to impart the trolls with refined elven taste? That's one way of putting it. By the way, yeah, from a troll's what? limited perspective, there isn't much difference between elven and human meat. Yeah, uh... That much I figured out. Uh... Oh, we get treasure, though. Oh, here's that, that scout. Let's go this way so we can do the stuff we haven't done yet. Yeah, the dwarves are shitty people. Oh, Axe of the Thundering Mountain. I want this, the worm head. Yes, please. Worm head. We're gonna just talk about mites forever, I guess. I would like to train. Drain strength. Making my way through a burnt outpost, a trio of dwarves was coming my way. The meeting didn't bode well. They were looking for the ash covered chest. Sitting in one of the houses. I have to take it. Clean out the chest before the dwarves found it. Some money. Elven armor. I mean, that's better than what we have. That gold armor that does nothing. Great. So we 
can go. I don't have any healing, right? Mortis with a smile. Yeah, he's like, cannibalism. Isn't that great? Couple of dwarves, bosom friends, or even brothers, decided to teach me a lesson because I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. That is, for no particular reason, I was about to have a very dangerous fight. It's good they understood each other without words and won many victories fighting the other two on one. That doesn't seem fair. This is pretty good. Okay, deal 17 damage. Demoralize. <laughs> I kind of like this pickpocket sword or whatever. Killy, <laughs> are their names Killy and like, are we doing the Lord of the Rings here? Is it supposed to be like Killy and Fi like Keely and Feely? That's funny. Aha, my armor. that uh deal damage equal to block lose all block burn and draw two every time block is gained from cards deal four damage to a random enemy that kind of rules oh that armor is back warrior's amulet gain one energy and five strength one immune when using consumables Damn, all right. Yeah, let's try this thing out. I liked the sword. We're back in the frontier. Let's not go where the fucking worms are. That was a mistake. Deal how many damage? Oh, that's like my whole, my whole shot though, huh? <laughs> You decide to have a rest. Okay. Oh, 
worms weren't a mistake, they were an experience. I guess that's true. Mm -hmm. this hammer as much as I like the the sword. That one won't lie from the dead. I know the Northern Gate was originally built to restrain the orcish hordes of the Crimson Steps. I never would have crossed the Steps voluntarily. Fortunately for you, the humans and the orcs are not at war now. Sigismund has somehow convinced the orcish leaders not to attack the Northern Gate, and is engaged in highly secretive negotiations with them. A war with the elves, a truce with the orcs. The world's gone crazy, hasn't it? Don't get your hopes up. The orcs are unlikely to welcome you with open arms. But at the very least, not all of them will try to kill you. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, if it's a secret, why do you know about it? Hunter Orc had discovered a, the den of a huge worm under the ground. He's planning to attack it. There's no way he could defeat such a beast alone. He didn't want he didn't want to share the trophy or fame. So he invited me, a stranger, to go hunting under the condition that I would never tell anyone about it. He would take all the glory. Let's go fight the worm. Oh, I'm wearing, literally wearing its, one of its brethren on my head. Don't mind me. Oh my god, I have so much armor right now. I demoralized him. Sure have. I love a good buff. This guy is getting like fucked up. <laughs> Though I wonder if it's like programmed to kill him. lot of damage. Maybe he'll come hang out with us if he lives. Their deaths bring you closer to your goal. Cool. I'm gonna press the advantage. Worm poison. Kills a target with less than 30% hit points. I got to learn more about the local fauna. It wasn't a pleasant meeting. The earthworms are the foundation of all life in the Crimson Steps. Their tunnels provide shelter to the local goblins. Their meat becomes food for the orcs. And who becomes food for the earthworms? Both the goblins and the orcs? Everyone and anyone. Yeah, we know that, don't we? We learned that lesson. 
some gold. Okay. So the shoes are fine. I don't want the berserk axe. I'll take that. That seems good. <laughs> Goblins grow giant worms with the elixir of growth. The portion is made of orc fat. And as I understand it, the um Plumper the orc, the better the elixir turns out. Long story short, the goblins hunted down some fat orc and asked me to kill him. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to... Giant worms help little goblins fight mighty orcs. It's no concern of mine. By the way, the earthworms are the root cause for the mutual hostility between the orcs and the goblins. Do the orcs really need a reason to be hostile, though? The goblins tame the earthworms and treat them with honor. Well, at the same time, the orcs hunt them. The goblins make their elixir of growth from orc fat and then feed it to the earthworms, which in turn are hunted by the orcs. Uh, the Crimson Steps is more complicated than meets the eye at first glance. Yeah, I wasn't going to kill that dude. He's watering his plants. It's a rather That'd be sparse rude. biome with a teetering balance that hinges on animosity. Golden Buffalo is the legendary embodiment of the of the Step Spirits. It's the main deity of the Greedy Goblins, most coveted trophy for orc hunters. Meeting such a creature is the highest fortune, which can turn into misfortune if you make the wrong decision. I will give all my gold to the Buffalo. Holy shit! He blessed me. Five bomb and five armor. That's huge. All of a sudden, it occurred to me that joining some orc clan was not a bad idea. I would gain honor and respect immediately. Otherwise, orcs would look like me like it was nothing. Oh, God, it's still going. Uh, demonstrate strength or wealth. Yeah. Orcs are not... Okay. Uh, kill a big one. <laughs> Fuck. Why, am I... why is that bad? Man, that text goes by so fast. Oh, it's a solo worm fight, huh? Damages all enemies equal to barb. Oh, so I want to like do this. Get my my block up because that does damage with the shield. And if I can get interesting, okay. I don't know if we I can win this. I might be able to. Oh, evasion kicked in. That was sick. Okay. Um, two barbed. Okay, so that would only do eight damage. It's interesting that, like, helping the orcs is, like, negative karma. Like, I'm getting bad karma for doing that. So maybe I should have helped the... I should have killed that fat orc for the goblins, which seems wrong. But... I 
think they're both. It's I, I I think going this way is like a negative karma route. But who knows? Maybe I'll get like a a cool orc army for doing this. Maybe I can become the chief. Clan amulet. Oh shit, that's cool. Oh, oh shit, that would be... What does that do again? Immune for one turn. So, what do these boots do again? Increases HP by gains ward. And then these, though, if I do this, five armor, five barbed, and then I'll have a set for two. I'm taking damage, inflict fly, five bleeding. So, what does this one do again? Uh, gain one energy and five strength. One energy, three strength, and three armor. We'll do that. Orcs were preparing to fight, but since they had no excuse for a fight, they set up a tournament. I was just passing by, received an instant invitation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. The clan amulet let me fight for the glory of my clan and compete for a special reward. The gun was given the weakest opponent, so goblins. This is okay. This is neat. Sometimes you can negotiate with goblins, but not this time. Orc. Yeah, it's a battle party. It's an orc friendship ritual. Oh, fuck. That... Oh, my God. I'm doing so much damage to them with just my armor. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. We did it. Next opponent was Tuesday's champion. That's a weird title. Do they hold tournaments every day? Does he have a wolf? That's okay. You've acquired a taste for fox. Yeah, you're not hitting me with shit. death.
feel like this is going well. Hard to say for sure. He's bleeding a lot. Um, Oh, he's Wolg. Okay. are cheering for us yeah they're definitely they want us to beat this guy our meeting is close you're brimming over with power oh he's gonna he's gonna do it himself i think here Yep. I was gonna face the current champion in the finals. Well, just try to hit me, okay? An exotic opponent. I must admit, I have not met one like that. An exotic opponent. I must admit, I have not met one like that. Hmm? You've acquired a taste for buff. I like getting buff. Oh, he's just giving himself more and more armor. <laughs> so that's his whole move is just to armor himself up. He's getting the hell. This is a kind of nasty. Uh... This uh, barbed strategy is pretty rough. Like really, as long as I keep my guard up. They're gonna, they hit me and take damp. Yeah, that was it. Ooh. Sick. All right, double axe. That's a berserker thing. I don't want that. Amulet of resistance. Okay, take that. Spear of the Crimson Steps. Start of the turn, restore five HP for each wounded enemy. I want the troll armor. Thank you. Goblin Bomb. God, we're getting so much shit. That was worth it. We got all kinds of stuff. Hold on. Okay. So I don't want to get rid of the boots or the shield. 
two mana shield, gain 12 armor. Block is not lost at the top. All right. So we got a lot of boots. Gain five bomb. I'm really, I feel like we're good with like what we have. So hopefully we can run into a merchant, a merchant soon. So what would be good here? I really need to start working on my... Yeah, we'll see how this goes. By leaving the steps, I had to face the chief of the orcs. I gained some respect and wanted to meet me in person. Needless to say, meeting and fighting is the same thing to orcs. We are the power of the steps. Ooh, he's gonna get. None of the orcs will dare to challenge these two while they are together. Did you decide to have a rest? What do you mean? I mean, the problem is, like, I have, I have this, this bleed strategy here. Ooh, actually, that actually did some damage. This guy's gonna knock himself out. It's gonna be really funny. Just saying stuff. And that's how he died. I mean, this is a bigger deal. 
getting my barbed up so they do more damage when they attack me. That's like a big part of the strat here. Okay. evasion and nimble start leveling up these lunges sick now we're back here all around me is desolation, destruction, and death. That's what my homeland met me with. Is that all you can say? Oh, right. Also with looters, madmen, fanatics, and mysterious demonic freaks. Sigismund's reign has been disastrous for the Northern Gate. It seems that he's made not a very caring ruler. No. Do you think so? I can't believe <laughs> this. Is he really that foolish to offhandedly destroy everything his older brother had been creating for decades? Oh no, he shouldn't be considered a fool. Truth be told, he's much worse than that. So this is like an, an offering thing, right? Yeah. Where's our store? Treasure chest. The unholy idol. There's not a sh oh, there's one all the way, all the way down there. Oh, there's one here. I This is who I was playing as at the beginning of the game, one of these guys. Did you decide to have a rest? Strange. We're in barbed of Ow. Ow. No one can stand against such power. I 
win. Aliens invaded the northern gate. Yeah. The Brotherhood of Fire, a paramilitary order in tolerance of all manifestations of evil spirits. Undead, demons, and any dark cults. They came to purify this land of filth. But instead of immediately taking the palace by storm, they staged a real massacre on the outskirts, destroying entire villages along with all the inhabitants. Unfortunately, according to their dogmas, they have no choice but to burn down everyone and everything. I think they the mean they mean deeply alien the possessions of Sigismund. Like um not from here not necessarily like a space alien but like aliens that would be cool though all right you seem fine i got a bunch of shit to sell you though my man all right You happen to have uh, barbed armor. That would be cool. The fuck is that? Demonic axe. My, my weapon is good. I don't want to get rid of my weapon necessarily. It'd be cool if we had another piece of barbed armor. But I've not really seen anything. Oh, that's that. I will go get the treasure, I guess. My troll club's back. I decided to return home immediately and reveal to everyone who was guilty of murdering Ingvar. Well, that's a good place to start. And then what? I was sure that the people would believe me. Sigismund would be condemned and executed, and I... I would be avenged and glorified. Nah, probably not. Alas, your plans were destined to fail. But it's a little matter. The most important thing is that my plan is going to work. Right, we're back. Oh, I, I can't go there. You have to go around. What do you got? Do you have barbed armor? Demonic boots. The horned helmet. This guy's got all the same shit. the armor that whoa what the fuck walk down a familiar alleyway with a clammy feel a clammy feel no not quite a clammy fear a 
haunting feeling that someone was watching me. I froze and looked around. I saw some creatures staring me from the darkness. I was petrified. My heart tightened another moment and might attack, but instead the monster started talking to me. <laughs> Ruins of the North Gate. Hmm. You've acquired a taste for bugs. Yeah, that's a big boy. He said, yeah, he talked talkily at us. Well, he knows. Oh, I don't, I'm going to use all my energy points. Cool. steal a card for me that's kind of funny okay this is a whole thing huh that was that was look at all that damage you just got for that good job bud Drain strength please emulated force I would have liked that blo extra block, but that's okay. Hides values and enemies strength. Would be a good move. I need to get the lunges up.
Tartus. What were these creatures? And what are they doing in my native land? The Impalines. Demons cultivating their souls and bodies within the people who worship them. Mm, Don't okay. trust anyone from the Northern Gate. Even one who looks like an ordinary person can carry an insidious demon inside himself. My people worship demons that eat their souls? I hope you already realize that your native lands have changed a lot while you were chilling in the grave. While well, you were chilling. Got me to heal. All right, we're trying this again. All right, Dormammu, I've come to bargain. say it might be a long time to be honest Accumulating that bleed damage. It, yeah, I also, I agree. It probably was a couple of years. I don't think it saved him. This is going well. This is going much better than it did last time. Mm -hmm. Mortis, yeah, Mortis is into us cheating for sure. Bodyguard is uh, not doing so hot. Oh, that's that. We're going to say goodbye to the bodyguard here in a second. Silly man. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, maybe he is an alien. He didn't vote for a king like that. Yeah. I didn't vote for him. Ooh. Uh-oh. What do you mean? I died. Mortis? We're about to level up again, I think. Not we're level three now. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's uh let's see here. So level three. Gold digger. Gain an extra Okay, cool. So this is versatile. And as we level up, we get more cards. And there's gold digger. Interesting. I think I want to stick with that, though. So, okay, once Gold Digger... So I can get Knight and... I wonder what I do, how do I, like, this study thing is interesting. Interesting. All right, chat, we're going to wrap up for the night, though. Um, we are going to play this more um, tomorrow and into next week because I'm enjoying it a lot. So let's go ahead and swap on over. YouTube, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Really appreciated it. This game is very fun, and I'm ready to see more of it for sure. Um, remember to do those things YouTube likes for you to do. Remember, you can come hang out with us on Discord. And, of course, the most important thing of all is to remember to take care of yourselves. I'll see all of you later. Bye-bye.